no place for the tar sands in the new green energy economy. Right now, our world is facing two crises, an economic crisis and a climate crisis. And the only way to address both of them is by investing in renewables, by investing in clean energy, and putting hundreds of thousands of Canadians to work right across this country and building it. That's the solution that we need, not the dirtiest oil on the planet. got out of the van and they're going to be uh, in place and going up the bridge in probably about five minutes. So right now, uh, Greenpeace activists are on the bridge to bring a message directly to President Obama that tar sands oil is the dirtiest oil on the planet and it simply has no place in his vision of a clean energy economy. Um, we're here because President Obama is coming tomorrow as his first, uh, first visit to Canada to meet with Pres uh, Prime Minister Harper and definitely topping the agenda is going to be energy and climate issues and we want to kind of set, set a green tone for that and let the President know that Canadians agree that we don't we don't want tar sands oil we don't want the cost we don't want the growing environmental and social uh, price tag uh, we we shouldn't be putting future generations at risk when we should be greening our energy supply on both sides of the border rather than dirtying it what we're seeing in the states is over 87 billion dollars being put into building the the clean green renewable energy economy of the future and and as part of that, it's going to put millions of Americans to work. And we should be doing the same thing right here in Canada. Instead of putting $2 billion towards a false solution with long lead times like carbon capture and storage, we could be using $2 billion to build the green economy here in Canada, putting hundreds of thousands of Canadians to work right across this country. economy means that we're addressing both the economic crisis and the climate crisis at the same time and that's something that we need to start doing today. It's definitely hard to, to trust any solution when you know Harper's own advisors say that it has very little impact when it comes to the tar sands so definitely when it comes to carbon capture you know the basket has so many holes that, that I'd be afraid to put any eggs in it never mind two billion. The banners are going to read, one is going to read, Welcome President Obama. You know, we do want him to know that he and his ideas and his vision are, are welcome here. It's a refreshing change. Uh, and the other will read, uh, Climate leaders don't buy tar sands. Uh, we know uh, that it's really important to President Obama to be a climate leader. And, uh, and we think he's got all the potential to do that. But if, that's, if he's going to be, then, uh, then he needs to say no to the dirtiest oil on the planet.